So it's an honor to meet you guys. How are you guys feeling? Good, good. Amazing. It's a great night. Awesome. We're at the Better Brothers LA Ninth Annual Truth Awards, and you guys are being honored with a family award. What was your reaction when you first heard the news? I mean, I was shocked. If you would have asked me three years ago where I would have been, it would not have, I would have never guessed someplace like this. Um, at, the, and at the same time, just honored because it feels amazing to be recognized for just being who you are, which is our family's always been about fighting for other people, about liberation, about freedom, allowing people to live in their truth. And that's exactly what tonight is about. I love that. Now, being that we are at the Truth Awards, I must know what has been the hardest truth you guys have learned in your careers? Um, you know, a lot of my career has been dedicated to fighting for people who, you know, are marginalized and can't fight for themselves. And the hard truth about that is that that's tough work because you got a lot of op opposing forces that aren't there yet. And so it's just the fact that that fight for liberation, that fight for freedom for everybody, is, we got a long way to go and it's tough work. But at the end of the day, that's what keeps me going. So. All I got to do is smile after listening to that. Proud father. Absolutely. Absolutely. So with receiving the Family Award, what message are you hoping to send to other black families uh, learning acceptance and more about the queer community at large? I want them to fight against bigotry and fear. Uh, the bigotry in many instances comes from the fear, fear of unknown fear of criticism from outsiders. But I say, are you fearful of criticism more than you love your child? That's the critical question. And so that's why I'd ask that they answer that question. Are you more concerned with criticism from others who don't understand life, or are you loving on your child more? Can't do both at the same time. I only have one heart. And I would follow that by saying that none of us is free until all of us is free. You know, at the end of the day, our fractured, marginalized communities got to be there for each other. Trans rights are gay rights, gay rights are black rights, and black rights are human rights. We all deserve to be free, and that's the end of the day.